what's happening guys, at this point we probably discussed every single scene from all the footage we've got so far, but this particular scene is probably one of the biggest mysteries, it's a scene you guys still talk about in the comment section and you PM me on Facebook asking my thoughts on the overall timeline and how exactly Gwen Stacy ends up on the bridge. So by the request I'm going to answer this popular question and basically give my thoughts on the timeline and how she ends up near the bridge. Now we've seen Gwen at the Times Square when Spidey fights Electro and seeing how the whole place got destroyed uh, it's probably the first time Gwen's life was in danger during the movie and Peter realizes that and uh, probably the scene with Peter and Gary already took place some, somewhere earlier in the movie and Peter realized that he's being spied basically by Oscorp during his whole, uh, whole life and uh, the surveillance cameras and now Gwen's life is in danger for the first time and Peter realizes that I want Gwen to be safe, I want her to be safe. He realizes what Captain Stacy told him and uh, basically the next scene is probably the Chinatown scene. Both of them talk and they probably break up. Peter breaks up with Gwen once again in order to keep her safe. Peter tells Gwen that I will handle this alone, I can handle Electro and I can handle the Oscorp and Gwen tells Peter it's bigger than you, just you don't have a chance against Oscorp and Electro. This is bigger than you, Peter. Both of them look quite sad in this set picture, so I'm pretty sure it's a breakup scene. Basically they break up and Peter tells Gwen please stay away and uh, basically I want you to be safe. So, we've also seen uh, set pictures with uh, Gwen Stacy walking down the street and uh, she looks up there and she there's basically Spider-Man who spies on her. So despite that Peter broke up with Gwen, he still keeps an eye on her. He wants her to be safe, just in case, you know, I will just keep an eye on her. At this point uh, they split up, they are not in a relationship anymore, Peter wants to stay away from Gwen in order to keep her safe. But I'm pretty sure um, Gwen story won't be just bland, won't be without any sort of twist. I'm pretty sure that even though they broke up, uh, seeing how Gwen works at Oscorp, she probably will do some investigation work, her own investigation regarding Peter's parents. I'm pretty sure Peter shared this information with Gwen that he found his secret father's lab. Nothing is what I thought it was. And uh, at this point Gwen might dig some information on Peter's parents and maybe she found out something. We've seen these set pictures with Gwen and Mary Jane Watson. Now Gwen comes to Peter's place, he's not there, instead she meets Mary Jane. Now Mary Jane's part has been cut, so this scene won't happen in the movie, but they did the reshotting. They reshot this scene sometime later, basically the same scene. Gwen comes to Peter's place and he's not there, but there is no Mary Jane. So um, I'm pretty sure Gwen found some information, or maybe she just wants to see Peter and she wants to talk with him once again. She comes to his place just like in the first movie and he's not there. Pay attention to Gwen's outfit, it's the same death outfit the one she wears near the bridge, except without the trench coat. So probably the next scene is Gwen walks down the bridge, she comes to the bridge, maybe this place plays some part in their relationship, played some part, maybe they had a meeting there or something. And she comes to the bridge, we can see she's being really sad and depressed, she wants to see Peter, she wants to be with him again and she can't handle it to be alone. And uh, she sees something, what she sees there on the bridge might be um, Spidey swinging by with the bunch of helicopters, uh, he's moving towards Oscorp. And uh, since Spidey was spotted on the same day on the set, during uh, near the bridge, I'm pretty sure Spidey notices Gwen and he basically pick, picks her up. He picks her up and uh, they swing to the rooftop. It's uh, They talk, they've got a serious talk, it's already evening and basically Peter asks Gwen, are you sure you want to be with me together? Uh, I mean, your life will be in danger, <laughs> sort of a similar plot line in Sam Raimi's Spider-Man, but it, it's... Uh, you know, it will be done differently, obviously. They talk on the rooftop and both of them decide to stop Electro together. And they, they swing to the power plant. They reunite, they are together again, but it's probably a mistake seeing what happens to Gwen, what might happen to Gwen. So that's how Gwen ends up on the bridge. I'm pretty sure she's looking for Peter. They broke up. She wants to see Peter and he's not at his place. She can't find him, she can't contact him. So she comes to the bridge. Uh, which might be not just a coincidence, maybe this uh, bridge played some part before during the movie. Spidey picks her up, 
and uh, they swing to the rooftop where they discuss uh, the upcoming fight with Electro at the power plant. Uh, we've seen Gwen basically probably in London, uh, maybe during the, their breakup uh, Gwen goes to London, which is the uh, exact same thing which happened in the comics actually. Gwen went to London when they broke up with Peter and then she came back to New York and she died. She was killed by Green Goblin. So, and you know, she comes back from London and she goes to see Peter or maybe that's how it will actually work out. She, without her investigation at Oscar, maybe she just goes to London after the Chinatown scene. And then she comes back and she wants to see Peter and she can't, and she can't contact him. Uh, that's my theory, uh, let me know what you guys think, uh, that's how I think Gwen ends up on the bridge and uh, obviously it's just a foreshadowing, nobody will probably die during this scene. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments section below, we'll post your own theories and I'm off for now.